hello welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section and today we have quantitative reasoning from lantern step book 5 page 60d all right thank you for joining in today and if you're a new viewer kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems all right so we have this problem before us we have 3 divided by 3 equals 2 and here 6 divided by 2 equals 4 here 4 divided by 1 equals 5 but if you look at it actually in mathematical operations 3 divided by 3 is in 2 so we're going to find what was done here so uh, let's go to to find 2 but before then let label this a and b just to differentiate the numbers All right so I have 3 divided by 3 equals 1, right? 1 plus our imaginary 1 is 2. Okay, so to find 3, that's this A, just to differentiate, right? So we're going to have 2 minus our imaginary 1. Remember, 1 was added here, equals 1, okay? So 1 times 3 equals 3 and to find the other 3 which is b right we have a 2 minus 1 equals 1 and 3 that's this one divided by 1 is 3 okay let's do the same for this example and see if we're going to get the same thing so to find 4 all right so what do we do here we have 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so to find 6, we have 4 minus our imaginary 1, which is 3. 3, 3 times 2, that's this 2 here, is 6. And to find the next number, which is 2, we have our 4 minus 1 is 3. And 6 here divided by this 3, we have our 2. All right. So that's all for this. Don't subscribe to this channel for more quantitative and mass problem. Bye.